we did a, a distance uh, birthday party for my nephew. Mm. We, we had back in it was, this was in May, and uh, we did the cake and everything. And, and I think one of the keys for us was make sure that everybody knew what they were doing in advance. Yes, because it's it's easy to say, oh, jump on, you know, if you're used to it, jump on a Zoom call, jump on me, jump on this, jump on that. But I think making sure in advance you take the time to get in there and make sure everybody knows what they're doing. You know, sign in if you've never done this before, sign in with zoom beforehand make sure you have you know if you have headphones or something that makes it easier for sure but if you have more than one person in your area you're gonna have to use your computer speakers and i think another big thing is just keeping the numbers low because i think there's nothing worse than knowing that there's about 40 people on a zoom call <laughs> <laughs> no one's getting a word in endwise and it's terrifying to anybody who's done a zoom call or any sort of meet like that yeah 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 we, we've done i've been a part of um I know my mother uh, had a, attended a Zoom wedding. Um, I, I helped conduct a a stream of a wedding over Google Meet. We did do. I, I can't remember what we did this for. Was it a Labor Day or a birthday or something like that? Because we had my we we did have my my sister and my brother come from their households uh, virtually, um, and, and and my mother. And uh, I can't remember what that was for. Easter maybe I guess. Mm. Um, but. Uh, you know, thankfully, everybody in my family has like, well, they know FaceTime, they know this, and was like, okay, down this app, like, like you know, everybody's fairly technical know how uh, uh, for us. So, um, uh, Amanda, you you have any tips for uh, you know, you you've been you've been remote for a while, you've been doing the uh, the, the the calls and such. Uh, any any tips for anybody doing first time virtual Thanksgiving? Um, I just put have a fun background. I thought this was always <laughs> a great like um topic. You can, if you're crafty, you can go get like PVC pipe and actually like build a background in your house that the kids then can come and like dance for grandma or do something fun. Like mm. um, that kind of thing. Cause there's stuff like the kids are like, oh, let me play you my clarinet. And like, <laughs> you know, they're in the front of like the TV or something like just build something fun like that. Or there's all these virtual backgrounds that you can download. There are so many, I was in a zoom call in the beginning, like in April and I had the office behind me, the TV show, the office. So it looked like I was sitting in the conference room of the office. Nice. Um, I had Carrie Bradshaw's apartment from sex in the city another time. Cause we were doing trivia and we were doing TV trivia. So I put a, I put myself in her apartment. Um, there was a bunch of them that you can download. I was on the deck of like an Air Force carrier that said Top Gun. Uh, there's like a ton. <laughs> like just to have some fun with it. I think if you kind of don't have a place in your house to sit mm -hmm. and kind of be part of it, um, they're very easy to upload onto Zoom. There's many tutorials out there on how to download one and then put it up in Zoom. Um, so I just think that's always fun. And there you go. I couldn't figure it. I just saw Chilla's background change. <laughs> oh, oh Chilla, go say something over there so we can see it. Oh, so I have I have <laughs> actually a collection of Tony Stark's uh, different armories and garage. I have the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. Um, <laughs> they're just ready to go, right? <laughs> just, they're they're always on the ready. This is how you for, what, for whatever I'm on. This is just how you get through the workday, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't realize because I know you're not a huge fan of backgrounds, but I actually have them like a portable. I have that Velcro on the back of your chair green screen. Okay, um, that works pretty well. I have because um, my wait, head wait, will I, I tend seen to those. fade in. It attaches to your chair. Yeah, it's like it's in the pack right now, but yeah, like it's like a green screen. <laughs> it's funny. I can make it, I I can make it disappear. <laughs> I love how it sucks into. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on audio, it's like it just disappeared out of the background. It's just giant green sack. They just like so, pulled like it out of thin air, or 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 out of an Iron Man suit. Uh, it's a, it. Now I can't get it to come in. Whoa! It's like I'm I'm a oh, hologram. So it it actually like pops out into a big circle, and then it velcros around the okay. back of your chair. Okay. Um. Huh. So you can actually have like a. I don't have a lot of space here. It, it, um, and it kind of folds into a circle. We've used those before, but I've never seen yeah. ones with like the chair attachment for this kind of situation. Yeah. That's great. But for the holiday, the thing that's worked well for us, though, is 
just taking the computer and plugging it, you know, old, old school HDMI style right into the TV mm-hmm. um, with the same speaker puck that Christopher and I used on the show not too long ago. Okay. And just use like all three of us on the couch. And that's a, that, that was like a conference call speaker puck that you're using, right? Yep. I mean, you, you have it because that's what you're using for work. So. But yeah, but those you can you can get a decent one of as long as you're willing to deal with like the old school wired USB. Yeah, you can get a nice one for not too expensive, a lot okay. cheaper than like a decent mic. Okay. Um, and then we we like it because what we quickly found was everyone kind of wanted to be on their own device, but all be in the same room, and then Ooh. everyone's getting feedback. Yeah. And so by doing it hooking it up to the TV and everyone being on the couch together, it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Absolutely. Uh, it, we, we did, when we did ours, it was, it was Google meet and we attempted to get dinner done at the same time. It didn't work out too well. <laughs> so uh, everybody just was on the same basically. I think that's the, I think that's what a lot of people are thinking is like, well, we have to have Thanksgiving dinner together. Right. Um, but I, you know, I, I think you could also kind of like, hey, we can do watch alongs for the football game or something like that, that you always end up watching afterwards. So, you know, if that's your thing as a family. Um, and, I, and I don't know if there's any um, good things for, for the, like, I know Amazon was doing a watch along. I think it was. Disney's been doing some of them. But for, like, I want to watch, like, the football game on NBC or, you know, in the afternoon or something like that. Or the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. I need to watch that together with my mother. So. <laughs> So, what th- are they? What are they doing for that this year? Uh, Is it like I just watched this morning? I just watched the news report on it this morning. So they're doing it all virtual. There will only be one block, so it's only going to be right in front of um, on Herald Square. It's going to be only right in front of the Macy's building. Um, most of it's pre-recorded, but they're still going to have the balloons just walk that one block. Um, most of the carriers are now in go kart, like golf carts. Hmm. And it's just the balloon, and then that's it. It's still 9 to 12. Um, the two hosts from the Today Show are still going to host for all the hours, and but it's all virtual. Nobody will be actually in the square except for, they said, maybe like 50 people as Jeez. a production crew. Other than that, nothing. Are they, are they still doing like the Broadway Macy's thing on the one channel? Or is that the one? I just know one, one's like more parade and the other one's more like this is going to be like the Broadway performers in front of Macy's, you know, on the square there or something. Like, I think they're going to do a combo this time. I think the way they were describing it was going to be like a combo. Like okay. cause they were showing dress rehearsals last night. If you go to Jimmy Fallon's Twitter feed, they, he actually posted a video of him performing last night with the Roots. Nice. Like out there in front of it, like w- rehearsing. So it was pretty cool. I think it's cool what they're doing. Mm-hmm. At least they're not like, forget it, it's off this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When well, you can do something. And then, uh, I worry what's going to happen with the locals because I think there was a Thanksgiving parade that happens over the weekend here in Pittsburgh, usually. Um, and, and other to towns. Celebrate the seasons. Yeah, yeah. So, and obviously, light up, night, light up night and all those things are off the table from what I understand. Um, but there's still going to be some of the big trees. I think, I think if there's any drive through like a lighting situations, they are going to be packed, just like your Chick Fil A drive through, um, or actually every drive through. I guess Starbucks is insane. So, uh, dude, <laughs> I was in Ogilvy last week and mm-hmm. um, on Thursday night. So on Thursday night, I was actually about five minutes from Ogilvy, and you could see the lights like on the horizon, and it was just packed on a thursday night Jeez. like they were Jeez. the person i was staying with they said on the owner of the airbnb where i was said friday nights were like hours to get into it Jeez, wow wow and i remember waiting a while when we went when it, i mean i haven't been there for years when i was younger but that, you know that seemed like a hell of a wait then so <laughs> oh boy oh i think something else is i think a lot of people don't think about combining technology Mm-hmm. Like we did, we played, uh, for example, some of us played Rocket League uh, and had a Google Meet at the same time. So we were able to um, watch what we, you know, play what we were playing, but we were still connecting like this and, you know, able to yeah. talk to each other. And so combine your technology. If Absolutely. you have Hulu and you want to watch a movie, talk to each other. That was a big deal because I, you were on, we were getting you for the first time on there for Switch since Rocket League became mm-hmm. free. So if you're looking for something that's not like a first person shooter that, that people can play along with, and tell them, hey, would you like to play soccer but with cars? Then there's that idea. 
Uh, Katie, I know you attempted to, but had issues with uh, Jackbox, and we played some of that here in the studio uh, from time to time as well. But that's another one where you can combine, um, mm-hmm. and and it's a little bit of uh, uh, somebody can have have either quiz games and party games uh, kind of things if you have any of the Jackbox games. But the idea is, hopefully, you have one person that will stream it to Twitch, right? or Facebook, or whatever you want to do, and then you take your phone, go to jackbox.tv, plug in a code, and it'll pull up all the questions for you to answer by, or however the game works from there. Um, and then again, you know, do a, do a, your FaceTime, or, face, or Zooms, or you know, whatever whatever voice or video chat you want to do with people, and you know, hopefully another device, um, but that, that usually works out pretty well, and we've had a lot of fun with that, right? So. Yeah, with Zoom and, and Google Meet, you just have to be the presenter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you share essentially you share your screen like you would if you were doing a presentation, but instead yeah. you're playing a game where you could play it as dirty or as clean as you'd like. And that's and that's everything from it runs on your computer and you just capture it if you bought them off off Steam and, and look for Jackbox to be uh, probably on sale this Black Friday as well, especially now. Um, I know I picked up. Over the summer, they had everything on sale, and I picked up every You Don't Know Jack, not realizing they don't have the online features. <laughs> so so when everybody can come over and we can play some quiz games uh, <laughs> until then. Uh, but no, there's a lot of good options there. Um, so open everybody. And if you, got, if you have any creative solutions you came up with uh, for your Thanksgiving weekend, please let us know, too, on our social media. Um, and we, we'd love to see that. If you have any images or anything of, of, of how you you wrangled together uh, a virtual Thanksgiving here. And I know a lot of our tips, if, if it includes like the speaker, like Jill mentioned, there's maybe not enough time since everything's supposed to close tomorrow uh, early with everything. Um, but I'm sure, you know, we all have technology, especially if you're listening here, I'm sure you got a lot of technology around and, uh, and see what's on hand.